from the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture, history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice. We get some more calls. Um, condolences, first of all, to Richard Roundtree. Richard Roundtree, the great actor, Richard Roundtree, who played Shaft, the, the hit movie back in the day. He passed. He was 81, right? 81 died of um, pancreatic cancer, I think. So legendary brother. So RIP to him. Shout out to Richard Roundtree. You know, Shaft was the business. That movie saved Hollywood. A lot of folks don't know that. The movie Shaft actually saved Hollywood. That whole black exploitation era um, with Shaft, Universal, I think it went out through Universal, man. Universal was down bad at the time because the movie came out in 1971. At the time, this was right after the civil rights movement. So a lot of white people moved out of the inner cities and they moved to these newly formed suburbs. So now you have a lot of movie theaters that are completely empty. They are empty now. You're not filling up those seats like you used to. And those suburbs didn't have those metroplexes yet. So the movie industry was suffering back then. And Universal, they were about to sell off the Wizard of Oz set in order to keep the lights on. They were struggling. And um, the black exploitation movie era kicked in. The I call it the black movie era. They had um, Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. That was the one that really ushered it in. And then the white people at these studios realized, hey, there's a black market out here. They saw the kind of money Sweetback was making. They were like, hey, wait a minute. We might be able to keep these lights on. And they saw there was a big market. Black folks spend money, too. and Black folks want to go to the movies. So they put out Shaft. It was a huge hit, kept the lights on. And then they started making all of those black movies that would later be called black exploitation films. And that saved Hollywood, man. That kept Hollywood afloat until around, like, 1975, right when they got their money up. Shaft and all those movies made a lot of bank for Universal, then they got enough money to make Jaws. They made Jaws in 1975, and then they started making Close Encounters and then Star Wars, so they were back up. And once they got back up with that white money, they were like, all right, bye, niggas. And then the black exploitation genre just died off. But um, my brother Richard Roundtree was a part of that, so much respect to him and everything like that. Let's get, um, let me see. Let's get Primordial. Primordial in the building. What's up, Primordial? Rick, uh, what's up, everybody? So, I um, first of all, with Dwight Howard, that situation, that that's old news, to be honest. I hate to even say it, but even when he was here in Charlotte, um, it was very much um, around the city what Dwight had going on. So, everybody knew that Dwight has been, you know, about him for a long time. But um, besides that, mm. if you look at the page two of that video that you posted, do you know the backstory to that? What happened with that brother and those people? Now, what is it? Because there was, there was some misinformation put out there um, on a fake Philly police page. So that wasn't accurate. So, yeah, no, I um, haven't. I didn't I, even hear about it. I just went and looked at it when the brother just said it on the last couple of calls. So I was like, what the hell was even going on? Why were they? What was, I mean, I don't even care because they jumped that man and shot him. So that's already messed up and they need to go right. to jail, prison for sure. But I was just curious, like, what what started all of that? But yeah, thank you. So yeah, no, but we don't. Thank you, dear. Yeah, I'm trying to find the real yeah, backstory. Please find it, about I would love to down. know what happened. Yes, indeed. So we're trying to figure out what, what went down, but they're already justifying that the white supremacists and the anti-black racists, they're already trying to justify 
you know, the the dude getting assaulted. They're already trying to justify it based on race. So this is why we got to get our crime bill popping. We really got to get it popping. It's very important. How many folks we got in here? And I ain't going to be on here too, too long. We got a lot of people in here. A lot of y'all in here. Um, 